We only have one Earth and life is possible only on the Earth. There are about 9 million species on the Earth and man is just one of them. The Earth is four and a half billion year old but the modern man arrived only about 200,000 years ago. The Earth does not belong only to man. The topography and geography of the Earth has been constantly changing but that was natural. Before the rise of the so-called modern or civilized man the Earth was luxuriant and phantasmagorical. Life on the Earth was razzmatazz. A few hundred years ago, most part of the Earth was swarming with life, with huge old-growth forests, pristine rivers and abundant plains. Today in many places it is relatively dead, polluted having been overdeveloped, overpaved and overpopulated. Right now, there are no places on the planet guaranteed to be fully free from air pollution. Clean air and pure water are actually a luxury these days. The drastic and disastrous changes that are occurring in the recent 1000 years have become detrimental to the earth and they are also almost irreversible. Man is using the natural resources in an uncontrolled manner leading to the depletion of natural resources and environmental pollution. The rate at which modern human civilization is using up these resources is faster than the rate at which they can be naturally regenerated. We have seen the population explosion over the last 200 years and it has grown from less than 1 billion people in 1800 to 8 billion today and it will be 10 billion by 2058. Nearly 1 million species are currently on the brink of extinction. Humans are driving this extinction through activities that take over animal habitats, pollute nature and fuel global warming. When an animal species is lost, a whole set of characteristics disappear along with it, genes, behaviors, activities and interactions with other plants and animals that may have taken millions of years to evolve. Human activities have disrupted the natural order of the environment by eliminating species and adding harmful chemicals to the air, water, and soil. These activities are changing the climate, structure and function of ecosystems, as well as the biological communities they contain. We should recognize the ecological impact of human beings on our planet and make conscious choices to live within the bounds of sustainable balance with our planet. We have to keep our population size relatively stable by limiting runaway population growth, reducing our ecological footprint, respecting the natural environment that supports life on our planet. Unless something drastic is done to find a balance between human consumption and the natural environment that supports us all, our population is going to crash. It is a simple matter of biology. Each person needs at least seven trees for getting sufficient oxygen. 368,000 human babies are born each day and 42 million trees are cut down every day. What an ironical statistic. There's simply no way we can fight climate change and global warming unless we stop deforestation and start planting more and more trees. Solving the critical environmental problems of global warming, water scarcity, pollution, and biodiversity loss are perhaps the greatest challenges of the 21st century. Saving human civilization from its own ignorance is no easy task. It will require intelligent, forward-thinking business leaders who see the long-term picture and who genuinely care about the future. Creating awareness about the environment is essential and crucial. People with proper education and awareness can help others understand the importance and value of our natural resources. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover and rejuvenate the earth. If we all join hands, a better earth is possible.